Tinker Ranch, everybody. So my name's Jeff, and we're gonna try and finish up the little posts on this line here on the west side. We're actually at the southwest corner right now, and we're working on pasture seven, if you're new to the channel. This is the seventh pasture, which is actually the sixth, or the second one we're doing. It's just, there's a whole global idea of what we're gonna have eventually. We're just working on certain ones at certain times. Anyway, so we're on the southwest corner here, and we've already done up north, ring down and this is the corner of our property sitting right over here so the idea is we've got a span here of about 750 feet give or take 100 and um, we want to put a double H brace in this corner but we have this creek drainage ditch that kind of runs through the property here and the second post would be of the H brace right about here and uh, that's not going to work. So what we're going to actually do is just put a single H brace over here in the corner. These bugs, man. And then we're going to put another one about 250, 300 feet up. Another single H brace up there. And then we're going to just do this in two runs instead of just one big massive run. So that's kind of the plan for right now. These little gnats, man, they're like everywhere. So let me also go show you another issue over here in the corner. So here at the corner, we have this beautiful auger, right? So this sucker is on the front, it's great. The Dan user EP615 does a fabulous job. I don't have to do this by hand. Now ours in the corner here just happens to be on the opposite side of this pine tree. And this sucker is pretty big. And we have other trees on the other neighbor's spot right there. And it's gonna be a matter of can we get this guy right here two to three feet off this pine tree, which isn't gonna be easy for us just to do with a hand auger or by hand or gas powered anything. That's gonna be a chore. Second thing is the pine tree. The pine tree splits the fence line. It's gonna be a nightmare. And it runs right between them. So when I'm doing an H brace going this direction, I don't know if I can get a post between here and how I would do that cross member. So I'm still in the midst of thinking about that right now. But I'd like to use the corner post and then have a brace post out here. But I gotta be able to get between. Unless I'm dead nuts and 100% accurate, I don't think we can get one of our posts between these guys. So I'm gonna worry about the guy over here. Do a single H. If we can use the tractor, that'd be fabulous. That's gonna be a work of art. And then we'll do another H brace up top. Okay, we've chatted it out to figure out the new game plan for the corner. We're not gonna mess up their barbs. We're gonna go ahead and come off with our H's. Let me show you. All right, so from here you can see kind of the dugout foot spots. So we're kind of looking right in this section wherever we can dig a nice hole. And then we'll just kind of short wire just this one section, but we won't mess up their line. We'll just put our new T post, a nice long one there and then kind of just wire that. Start of the H and bring it over, over here. Two big posts. Now to get this tractor, without getting stuck in the gully, as close to those points as possible. This is gonna be interesting.
All right, we got this one. We don't have the wire with us to do the brace wire, so I'll get that done later on. We're gonna go up and get the next one. Okay, we're about halfway up. We're about 300 feet or so. I can see the double H over here. I can see the corner posts over there, so we're about in the middle. We're gonna wrap up these two posts. We're gonna drill them, set them, do the cross piece next week or so, because we still have to go look for babies. Um, check out our little piggies still, and feed some cubes, move some hay, and some other chores. Our daughter, the youngest little bug, she's got a little dance, what is she in? Gymnastics. A little gymnastics recital tonight, so we can't stay super late. But anyway, let's wrap this up and get moving to the other stuff. That's closer to 18 inches than that. Pretty deep in there with water. All right, let's get this thing set. This is going to be kind of a uh, funky weird. Yes. It's uh, pretty moist. You son of a monkey! Ow! Ouch! That's your foot. That was my foot. Move the barbed wire. Oh, so gross sounding. Sounds like somebody went to the bathroom yeah, really bad. You really How had to let it go, huh? Is there like a underground pond right there? I don't know. It's probably water drainage. Water from the drain. Rain. Just to get some. <laughs> so gross. Let me hear you, Mom. That's why someone's using the restroom. I was like, how do you damn? Let's just back up. Yeah. Can I the level, please? Mm -hmm. The water just keeps going up and up. I know. I'm going to push that. Thank you. I'm going to the point of tipping up. A little bit, yeah. I'm not going in nearly as far. This is when man hooker boots are a little bit much. much. Mm. That's complete mud now, dog. Yeah. All the way down. All right, let's go see those little piggies. Yep. Get okay. ourselves up top and get these buffalo fed. Hi, piggy pig. You want to see him use the water nipple right there. So the water I put out now is in a bowl right by the actual water. Hi, I'm talking about you guys. You guys thirsty? Yeah, is that good water? Just leveling in the water. It's ridiculous. Silly pigs. So ideally, they come over and that they push on this and it lets the water out and they get a drink. So right now I've got it kind of dripping into that. 
fill it back up for him. Come on, big pig pigs! Meanwhile, Jeff and Mari have been out filling up the hay. They're on their third one. And Jeff said he found six babies. So that means two more than we were aware of before. So the babies are coming. Hopefully we'll be able to go get some sort of footage of them as we go feed some cubes in just a few minutes. All right, our pigs are hanging out over in that corner for a minute. You know what? They are still exploring their new home. But while they're doing that, I came to investigate and see if they figured out the feeder. So before I left yesterday, I had this bowl and I had it wedged just so, so they could get in. And once they got in, then they've been able to get in. So one, can you tell by looking that somebody's been in here? Yeah, I think you can. You can see the snuffling of it. And then the other way is check the level up top. And it's definitely gone down. You can see how it started to kind of sink in the middle. So, so we know they're able to get the food. Besides everything else they find out in the pasture. The last thing really is just making sure that they can get the water. So we're gonna go bait them with some peanut butter a little bit um, because they'll probably suck on the nipple if we put a little bit of peanut butter on it and then they'll be more interested in it. When doing this, um, last time we had pigs, I think I ended up like clogging the nipple when I put on the treat. So I just put it around the outside so that they'll get up there and try and get it off and in so doing they'll push on the little um, circle rod and that will let the water out. So. so there goes the first of 18 new bales. So Jeff will be doing this for a little bit. All right, so Jeff's over there finishing up the hay. Meanwhile, I'm in the truck with the two kids and we're gonna drop the cubes. Jeff fed the hay. We've got a few happy customers out here. So cute. Here's all the other happy customers and babies. I spy a baby. Hey ladies, is that good hay? All right, now I do have a baby in front of me. Let's go see if we can see her. Okay, 138. Hi, girl. Is you a baby? Oh, you're such a good mommy. Look at you with your baby. Your baby tired? Oh, there's its head. Oh, it's such a cute baby. Hi, lady. Oh, your cubes are over there, even though you're gonna take care of that baby, aren't ya? Oh! Oh, it's standing up! Oh, it's such a cute baby! Oh, good job, 138. What is a baby? A little bit more baby footage. Aww. They're all so cute. I'm excited about all of them, by the way. Here they come. The mommies and their babies. Yeah. We just want to say hi to your beautiful babies. Here comes another mommy. Man, that baby is hiding good over there. There she is, and their baby. Aww. Mommy. They're so cute. All right, hopefully that filled your baby goodness for the day. Oh, so cute. All right, and while we 
we're over there feeding cubes and then checking on the babies. Since Jeff brought in all the hay already, he's been finishing up our hay here. And lucky us, this is it, his last bale. Okay. Got the hay done. Actually, that was pretty quick. I don't know if you guys saw any of that. We did, you did a good job, it was nice and quick. So this hay doesn't look to be as good as the last one. Of course, this is probably like seven month old hay. It's supposed to have been sitting in a barn, but I tried to allocate these, if you can see. Far right side are the more wet ones, the ones I think we need to use first. That far right side will also get a little bit more wet when it rains in here. And I tried to put the better quality on the left hand side. Um, so I use that, it'll hopefully last a little bit longer. All's good. This is supposedly horse quality hay. Um, the difference that I see is that it's wrapped in green <laughs> instead of blue. So I don't know what difference that really makes. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this up today. We've got some good things done. We've got our hay, we've got 18 new rolls that'll last us six weeks. Um, so I'm waiting for their first cuttings and I'm gonna order a bunch more. Um, but number seven, pasture number seven, should be opening up pretty quick. So thanks for joining along with us. We've got our four wee piggies, which are uber, uber cute. I think Charlotte told you they're red wattles. Um, and these, from the last time we had them last year when they got slaughtered by our neighbor. Anyway, these actually look to be purebred red wattle, I believe. And the chick is really close to us, so it's not too bad to get them. Um, and she does a real good job breeding. Anyway. Another conversation. We're gonna bug out. Stick along with us. It's 187 acres and we're just starting everything. So glad you could join us and we'll catch you next week. Bye.